what is up YouTube, this is Fort Striker, and today I'll be presenting a deck profile of my Ray Raptors. Uh, the reason I'm doing this deck profile here is because I went to a tournament at the Play Live Nation, if some of you may have heard these stores. Uh, some of the, like certain areas in the states, uh, there's one here uh, in uh, Miami at the Falls. It's right there behind uh, when you exit the Macy's in the back, and then you go straight to the mall, it's on the left side, uh, for those who live in Miami. Um, but there are some in areas you can look up online. Now, they performed their first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament yesterday, and, uh, it was fine. It was a little crowded at the time because it, we were just me, Stevie, Eric, and Wellington. You guys seen them from my deck profiles. Uh, they've been, we've been just hanging around until the tournament because there was, like, they do parties there for, like, video games and stuff. But it ended up just being ten people, which was fine. So they started off small, and we did one for just four rounds. And whoever wins gets like a box, pack of Yu-Gi-Oh's or whatever. Uh, I ended up tying third uh, with my friend, Gio, because we just decided to uh, end the game. Because we, took, we took so long the second round of the fourth game. And they were about to end our store. was like closed and we're like, it's really late. And we have a cold front here. So we just ended up closing the game in the third. And was like, he was going to be mad. Just like wanted to tie. So I'm like, whatever. So we tied third. It's better than, you know. Nothing. Um, so then the winner thing in the game of the was the uh, Metaphors Magic Specters. Um, but yeah. So anyway, this is the deck I made. I did last minute uh, changes, which I'll show you. So I will show you um, my deck profile of the side deck and the extra deck, and everything. You know. So let's get to it, and then I'll tell you uh, what were my rounds. <coughs> All right. So standard raiders, obviously, you play. Uh, I was playing three Vanishings, two Tributes, three Fuzzies, two Mimicries, one Singing, I just put Booster for whatever, it goes back and forth, two Tributes, one um, Pain Lineus, and two Veilers, nothing much, you know. And the Standard, and then Spells, three rank Skip Magic Force, two Soul Shade Force, uh, just playing two and S, you know. I just got the dark corruption for a bit, so because sometimes like when I lose my nest, I know my point which does that. I just want to get it back, but you can end up clogging. Uh, two alerts, one upstart, one instant fusion, one mass change, two. When I used it once against Wellington, I love you, Wellington. <laughs> a twin twister and right geeky. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll you'll understand why. Uh, warning, just put dark average because sometimes there, but I end up just side decking for whatever. Uh, Doom Cards, I actually read, it's Soul Rope, and for those who don't know what it does, and because it has like, a current effect, because this is an old effect, uh, whenever my monsters are destroyed by a card effect, except they're in the damage tip, I can pay a thousand life wins, special level 4 monster from my deck to the field. This is really interesting, I like this so much. I did have to side deck against the ABCs, because the ABC is always going to get banished with the Dragon Buster, and it's annoying. So, I did prefer this, and it's pretty decent. Uh, two readiness... And three gust. <clears throat> and now for the extra deck, Norden, uh, Dark Law, Dank Law. Again, I love you, Wellington. Dire Wolf, Zero Fine. Um, whatever. Okay, I did place in the Utopias here. I might. I just took them out from my Dynamis deck. I didn't play them at all, so I just did it just in case because it was a tournament. Um, so yeah, uh, well, like sorry, one card, because uh, I do an order. Uh, two four tricks. I love how I go to this card every time. It's just funny. One Blaze Falcon. Um, only once against Giovanni in the second round, you know, because he had the vanities, I had to, I realized I could just find a way to get rid of it. Uh, True Evolution Force, pretty good. Satellite, and then, I actually only went to Ultern Falcon just once, and... Well, once or tw well, twice, kind of thing. About it. Check and side deck. Uh, I played two draw lock birds. I still played it, uh, but I didn't play them in the deck, I guess, because I'm only using them for search cards. Uh, Maxis. Uh, used them. Anti spell fragments. Used them. Debunks. Didn't use them in the deck in the the tournament. Three lightning prison mirrors against two ABCs, and some works, some didn't. And again, I love you, Wellington. I love you. Not fusion area. This was the card I got for him. Who in the soul rope prevents fusion summoning? Uses against ABCs, Fluffles, um, 
Magic Specters, it just tells you can't fuse or something, period. And then uh, the one Soul Drain, I just didn't use it. I think I should have used a Dweller. Felt more comfortable than this card. It feels like me. But that's the uh, that's the main deck. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be changing up my deck around. But the truth is, though, I'm probably going to say this would be a final deck profile for now. Not saying I'm going to get rid of the deck. I'm keeping the deck. I'm saying I'm going to take a break because this deck I've used uh, sometimes, and I had tr and I've been like trying to make this deck for over a year since I quit the Black Wings. You know, most of the time because I have to uh, search for this fucker. Alright, so I'm going to be cutting some cards. I also want to want to cut out uh, Norden and Instant Fusion. My, and I know people are like, why? That's really a great card. My purpose is because I feel like there are times when this deck, I don't really need freaking Norden a lot. And I rather prefer going for Dark Law because he helps me just to get rid of my opponent's cards. And I prefer that. No more searching, they get banished. That's it. That's what I really do. So I wanted to put like a ma second match change too so I can play my cards so fast. And I have to change the deck up a bit. So, just for a little bit. But then, by the time the Fusion Enforcers come out, I'm making Predator Plants. And I'm going to make them like a boss. So, yeah. So, I'll be cutting some cards. Just whatever. But, yeah. Anyway, the, so the rounds I actually ended up. So, I faced my friend, uh, Tori, for, in his ABC deck. I bricked. And, because of the first hand. And then my second hand, I had to cut a chance, but he won. So... But it was most fun because Tori and I you know duel and he has like, oh shit. And I thought I had a chance, but I guess that was karma for just me and Dick. Next one duelist I faced was a guy with the only was only one in the duel who had a jank deck. No offense, not as well. And everyone got a win over the heat except for the fourth one, which he was supposed to waste Wellington, but he left anyway. So Wellington was like, Yay. And then um, the third round I had against Wellington. <laughs> I love you, Wellington. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, bud. The the saltiness is real on that one. Uh, he hates me because I ended up having just the mass change two. Because I only played the Dark Law once in that entire tournament. I had one single land and just ran out of nest. When he summoned the, the, the Fluffle Dog, because that's what he was playing, I ended up playing it and he summoned the effect and I activated, I chained mass change two. He was like, Are you fucking kidding me? And then he had to. The owl was like, Okay. We didn't matter, and then I'll fusion someone, whatever, and then, well, he, no, not the fusion, but, you know, he tried whatever, and I Valor his tire, because he tried to get rid of my Dark Claw, that's what I remember, sorry, so my eye, and then, it was so sad, and he went, we went straight to game two, I took longer just to side against him, and then, non-fusion areas, two of them in my hand, an anti-spell fragrance, and then, <laughs> whatever, and then I just activated him both, and he was, like, crying, and was like, Why? And then I ended up just being, he just went salt mode. It was so funny and, and sad at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. And then fourth one was against Giovanni, my friend. We uh, he used ABCs. I, I bricked the first game. Uh, he won. I, I won second game. We took the longest shit. And then third game, we did whatever. I was like, we're going to leave and I got to do what I think. So I'm like, yeah, third. I'm like, what? He was going to beat me, but I was just saying. I mean, he was luckily he's generous. So we went up third. Uh, second place was a Blue Eyes. And first place was Magic Spectre, like I said. Uh, so, we had a great time. Uh, I hope to go to play live again soon. They're going to do another tournament. Sorry, I don't know if I'm going to go. But I am going to be working a lot now because now I have my own Yu-Gi-Oh! club. Uh, my friends are going to be there. Except one thing because he doesn't go to our school, which sucks. But some of our friends, Stevie and Eric, are going to go. Stevie is my vice president. And then so we're going to have a good time. He's going to keep the Fluffle deck. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and purchase those the new DDD structure deck in a couple weeks. So I hope to get that soon. And I really want to make the fusion enforcer get the fusion forces by pre make predator pens. And if I do get zodiacs, I'm selling that shit. Fuck that deck. The deck's cancer as shit. But that's about it, guys. That's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna change my deck for a while. But until then, I think this will be like a last deck for fall or hey, after I change it up, and maybe I'll do one more before. And that's it. And until then, uh, get this video a like. When you think of like uh, the tournaments I mentioned about, what do you think about the deck? Say whatever, I don't care. Share this to your friends. Subscribe to your new Like My Facebook page. This is Force Striker. Signing off.